sports. It's in the game. All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Daniel Cormier. Sports gambling is legal here, and we got a good UFC fight here coming. Oh, up. wow. Sports gambling is legal. And John, you're right where you want to be. You're salivating. You'll call in the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game, the hockey game, because John Anik knows how to make money at the sports book. But don't worry. Tonight, we will give you a great fight. Great city. <laughs> well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. These guys throwing early. Oh, and there he goes. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Double leg shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Back to the feet now. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Miguel gets touched by that kick there. Oh! Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Liddell gets touched by that kick to the body. A good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Nice. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by the Iceman. Big leg kick land. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he 
he's out. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Back up again, you gotta like that. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Massive, massive hook land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. All right, round two. Really good body kick. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Well, no problem getting inside to land that. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Opponent's wobble chance. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, single collar tie here. Judo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land ground and pound here or if you're gonna go to submission. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Under three minutes now remain in round two. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. And, oh, useful trip to get the takedown here in the clinch. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Another big takedown. So how about that? Another takedown for the decorated striker. Are you surprised he keeps taking this fight to the ground, given how good his opponent is from that bottom position? I'm a little bit surprised because it seems like there are so many different ways to go and try to find victory instead of taking this approach, but right. he's doing it over and over again. You just gotta hope that it doesn't cost him. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He might be out. He got him. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output. And oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the 
fourth. He mixed it up. He went high with him before he thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He wow. lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making a oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent this? You gotta be so aware defensively. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. It's the shoulder pressure that but usually he's makes you tap. Under two minutes now with which to work. Liddell gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, a huge block there. Oh. He's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad, he's hurt bad. Whoa! Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly 